What is going on ladies and gentlemen, AJ Good here at the House of Masks, and as you can see behind me, we have a stack of Israeli gas masks. Uh, now some of these already have uh, face paint designs painted onto the mannequin heads, but today we are going to be doing this version live on camera, and then I'm going to be showing off all of my Sid Wilson Israeli masks and their different paint variants. So as you can see here, we have a blank head. I've already kind of fashioned this weird little toboggan cloth thing that he wore with that torn up mask. We have some black paint, a sharpie, and some paint brushes, and uh, we are just going to go ahead and get straight into the design. I'm going to switch over to the GoPro. It'll just be a real quick time lapse, and then here at the end we're going to show that off along with all of these other ones. So it is a Sid Wilson face paint design video, but at the same time this one's a little bit different because we're going to be talking about the history and the face paint variations and the differences in his Israeli masks. So if you can make it through this short time lapse, uh, we'll be on our way to something a little bit different for these Sid Wilson videos. Hope you guys enjoy it. Here we go. Alright guys, so we are completely finished with this face paint and I am pretty stoked on this one if I do say so myself. I'm definitely happy with the way that it turned out. It took one of Sid's worst masks in my opinion, just a half or a quarter of an Israeli with some shitty face paint on. And uh, I don't know, it just looks cool. It's uh, sweet to display. I've got the little beanie thing on here as I mentioned earlier. Probably gonna swap that one out. I don't think this one's quite long enough, but I did some experimenting and I think I know what I need to do with the next one. So it's like a $1 beanie, it's not a big deal. But as a placeholder, I definitely think that it looks good and it gets the job done. So there is that. Uh, I'm not gonna spend too much time talking about this one right now. We're gonna go in order of the Israelis. And I'm gonna kind of talk about what I think happened with the Israelis and uh, why they had so many different versions throughout the self-titled and Iowa era. And then we'll talk about the uh, variant face paints that he wore with them and why the heads are painted the way that they are. So we're going to go ahead and get into that. All right, so here they are all together as a set. These are all the Israelis that Sid Wilson wore between self-titled and Iowa era. We're going to start off here with his original Israeli number four. Nothing special was done to this mask. It wasn't restrapped and there was no modifications done to it aside from obviously removing the filter and stuff. And uh, I believe that he only ever wore black grease paint with this. I don't think that there was ever any sort of variant. If there was, I've never seen proof of that. So uh, if there is some sort of proof of that, I'd love to see it, but I just don't think that it happened. There are photos of him wearing this with no face paint on underneath, but that is what it is. I'd rather see some black grease paint under there like he always wore with it. Moving on to the Israeli with the drinking tube. Uh, this was actually a separate mask and it was slightly different from the Israeli number four that he wore for self-titled. I've only ever seen one photo of him wearing this and he just so happened to be wearing some red face paint with like a little bit of black 
around the eyes and uh, I believe that it's during Tattoo the Earth because he's in his white suit and obviously he had started playing with the uh, different colored face paints and stuff. Not sure why there's no photo or video of him wearing it and I do believe that the lenses were kept in. The photo is kind of shitty but it looks to me like someone maybe just handed him the mask and he threw it on or something and I believe that the lenses were left in based on that photo. So until I can find some sort of proof or anything I'm just going to leave the lenses in there. But I did paint up the head to match that photo because I think that it looks cool and uh, I just want it to be displayed that way. Moving on we have another Israeli which I believe to be the Israeli that he had with the drinking hose or the drinking tube still attached and uh, this was later worn during Iowa for one photo that I know of. I've never seen another photo of it but it looks like he has white face paint on with a little bit of black around the eyes once again kind of like eyeliner. Not sure why he only ever wore for this photo but it's a backstage photo so chances are he was probably wearing another mask and decided to throw this one on. I believe this to be the same exact mask that rests on his DJ booth kind of like hanging off of the hooks and stuff. You can see it during Iowa in a few different photos and videos. I'll add one on the screen right now so you guys can take a look. It just has the front completely busted out and uh, to me I think that it was probably just a prop and he happened to wear it for that photo and that's it. So I didn't paint anything. I left the mannequin white and I just kind of put the uh, black outlines around the eyes because his eyes are pretty defined in that photo. It is a pixelated and blurry photo and I would love to see a higher res version of that or maybe some more pictures but for now that's what I have to go off of. And then last but not least is one of Sid's most infamous masks if you want to call it that. It was the Israeli which I believe to be these once again that was uh, cut up even further and made into like a quarter mask and it only had one strap left that goes across the back. The rest were cut off. He wore some weird beanie with it and then he painted his face. I decided to go with this paint job based on my Patreon users votes. There were two different paint jobs that I put up on a poll and asked them what they would rather see. There is an alternative paint job to this and it kind of looks more like a hobo clown or something and this I think looks a little bit more like the underpaints that he did for most of his Iowa masks with the big blocky teeth and stuff. So I went ahead and did that one. Maybe in the future I will do another paint job and get another Israeli to cut up and uh, display them together because I do like the alternative paint job as well. This one's just kind of seen more so I think more people know about that one. But this is what he wore for Reading slash Leeds Festival. A lot of you guys know that but I still have a lot of people that ask me what that mask is and stuff so here's your answer. That is the one that we just time lapsed obviously and I'm pretty stoked that it came out for sure. Got the toboggan on there as a placeholder right now. I think I'm going to get another one as I mentioned earlier but yeah. So that's about as informative as I'm going to get on this set. I just think it's neat to kind of add this into the uh, Sid Wilson face painting stuff because he did wear four separate paint jobs for four separate masks and uh, they all just happen to be Israeli. So those are my theories on what happened to the masks and why he did what he did with them. And if anybody has any information out there that you think that I don't already have, please let me know because uh, I'm always curious about old Slipknot mask mysteries like this. Right now I'm just going to do some scanning over, give you guys some hero shots of these things and that will be today's video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I have some very special Sid Wilson videos planned in the future that kind of revolve around the uh, face paints and stuff and they're not going to be the average ones so look forward to the upcoming stuff. I'm definitely stoked about it. I hope that you guys have a good day and we will see you later. Thank you very much for watching. If you like this video, feel free to subscribe. If you like all of my content, make sure to find me on all my social media platforms. If you really like the House of Masks, consider becoming a patron. All the links will be in the description below. If you dislike the video, or me in general, make sure to write up a detailed formal complaint and shove it right up your ass. Thanks!